Okay, here we go. We are the first in Northern California. Um, we've had inquiries from uh, other people uh, across the uh, Northern California. With electric vehicles, with this electric vehicles, our gas mileage, the equivalent uh, that we get in gas mileage, went from like six to eight miles a gallon uh, to 20 uh, with this electric bus. So as far as uh, gas mileage, it, it, you know, it went up greatly. And also with that, the cost of fuel, uh, is, is one of our greatest expenses. So our expenses went down and our fuel efficiency went way up. Electric vehicles in the past, they weren't able to go the, uh, the distance without, uh, you know, the range was, was limited to the, the charge. With this electric vehicle in particular, you get a charge, it's a rapid charge, it's a quick charge, it's about 10 minute charge. And uh, with that 10 minute charge, you're fully charged. It'll give you about two hours. On to the mall. I'm codependent on the buses to get just about everywhere for doctor and uh, any shopping that I do. We're going to end up needing to go more and more to uh, public transit for the reduction of fuel. People need to start being more uh, conservative minded that way. This is my main source of transportation is, is the buses because they go most everywhere I need to go in, in the county actually. And so I'll ride all the different routes and then I saw them working on the construction and then I saw the electric bus today. So I had to come over and check it out, you know, because I'm interested in alternate fuels and things. It's great. The fact that it doesn't put out the, you know, the fuel out into the air and also it's nice and quiet and it looks pretty roomy. It looks like it's set up as well as every other bus. So I'm glad that they're doing this. I'm glad that they're putting it on a route where it goes a lot of different main places, the hospitals and the mall and things like that. Going to the mall. With this particular location, it's kind of in the, the middle of the route. We have the mall and then we have the county hospital. So at either location, when they're going uh, either northbound or southbound, they can stop here, they can get a quick charge. And stop. We started off at 100% from downtown Stockton and we got to the mall with roughly about 87% of charge. And when we arrived here, at the DTC, we were roughly about 82%. What the driver will do is, is as they're coming in to, to dock the, the bus, they'll see uh, the chargers overhead. They'll follow the guide, which is uh, on the left-hand side. We have some painted hash marks on the side here. And uh, what that does is it allows them to uh, dock to the, uh, the charge head. The charge head automatically takes control of the bus and kind of guides the bus into position. Then the charge head moves back into position overhead of the bus and then uh, gives the charge to the You know, in electricity, you measure um, um, stuff in amp amps. Um, for instance, you would charge your car, well, like a regular battery charger, you're probably looking at maybe 20 to 30 amps. Where this bus, when we charge it, you're looking at like 700 amps. The electric golf carts have been around a long time, but now we're on this big a scale um, where we're actually hauling, uh, hauling people. The bus is about 28,000 pounds. Our hope is to uh, release both buses. We've got two electric vehicles, EV1 and EV2, and we'll put them in the full service starting Monday, June 10th.